you know, I don't know what you would advise or maybe, yeah, just your insights. So say the question again, if you would. Yes, the question is, so let's say you do have a tr sexual trauma background. Yes. And I know for me, I've explored various things, but let's say, okay, let's say I'm ready to do work with another person. Like I've done the, the personal like nervous system regulation and these types of things. And now it's time to lean into the edge of um, exploring with someone, maybe how would you find someone to explore with or what would you look for? Or maybe there's containers where there's modalities where people who are well-informed will be brought to you or something yeah. of that nature. Yeah, it's a great question and I'm sure there's a lot of people who are at festivals like Soul Play who are having this question in their own minds or their bodies. And so what I would say is Finding a community through festivals like Soul Play is a great place to find someone you resonate with and, and, and really spend some time either talking to them, getting to know them, or, um, or even just going to a class that's like an introduction to their work. Because each uh, healer of sexual trauma have their own unique style, even if they've studied specific modalities. For example, I've studied um, uh, sacred spot and tantric healing modalities from the Charles Muir lineage. So I'm one of 30 people who have studied all the way up to his level five, which goes into the neuroscience of tantric uh, healing modalities. But I've also studied at mystery school for three years, so I also understand full spectrum energy healing. And I've studied with shamanic masters and um, homeopaths and body workers. So my unique version of sex trauma is informed by the lineages that um, I have chosen to study with, but also my own experience of sex trauma from when I was a little girl and um, a, a, a college student where I was sexually assaulted by a boss. So I recommend anyone who has been traumatized, and so many of us have been traumatized in different ways sexually, whether it's shame of your body or um, shame from your, um, your experience or as violent as rape and incest. I recommend getting to know the person who you are interested in working with. Getting to know them allows you to see whether or not they would be a fit for your unique experience of sexual trauma. I find festivals um, like Soul Play, like Burning Man, um, and there are so many others. We just happen to be at Soul Play right now, and I just love this community, and it's such a conscious community. I like to get to know people here and then get their contact information and reach out to them and see if they would be interested in doing a free consultation. I do free consultations for everyone who's interested in working with me because I know I'm not for everyone, but I want the people who really resonate with me and I'm, I'm feeling moved by saying that because the people who do resonate with me, they're calling me to support them instead of me um, you know, proselytizing my work. Um, I love working with people who resonate with me and reach out and communicate to me that they have a sense that I can support them in their healing. And then the other thing that I would say is um, for sexual trauma work, I choose not to work with anybody who's dogmatic and that like there's a right or a wrong way. Um, for me, I really love working intuitively. All of my programs and also individual sessions are uniquely designed for the person 
even though ha they have a template, which I write in both of my books. Um, my first one is called It's Hard Sexual Satisfaction Secrets to Beat Erectile Dysfunction. Excuse me. Um, uh, erectile dysfunction, both men and women have. Um, and there's a template and a process in there to utilize for sexual healing. But um, that's just a template and then every human who comes into contact with me, I see what would really help that unique challenge that they're having. And so while it's structured, it's also open-ended and uniquely designed for the person. Um, in my second book, uh, I'm Not Jealous, The Ethical Non-Monogamous Guide to Free Love Relationships Without Pain and Suffering, that one is really intended for women to own their sovereignty, women or um, people who resonate with the feminine energy. They, um, I'm teaching in that book that it's okay to stand in your unique expression of femininity, your autonomy, your sovereignty, and choose partnership that you design that works for you and that other person. And uh, to, to know that all of us are unique expressions of the Creator, and creation is what we're really here to learn and master. And some people might call that manifestation, but um, to really understand that you have a right to create your world to work for you instead of for what society programmed um, in the past. Mm. <laughs>